this is how I sprout. I'm going to be using the Easy Green Sprouter, which I've had for probably five or six years. I have two of them. And what you're seeing right now are two Easy Green Sprouter trays. And what I initially do is I put a little water in the trays so that the uh, sprout seed can stick to the trays easier because I don't have to soak the seed when I use the Easy Green Sprouter, which makes it so much simpler. So I'll go ahead and dump off the excess water from the trays. And what I do to make it easier to grow or to put the seed in the trays is I put a couple of uh, folded up paper towels. So you can see right there, folded it up paper towel on each side of the tray. That's where the drain holes are. I just cover those up basically and it allows me to uh, get the seed in there a lot easier. And what I'm going to put in first, it's kind of hard to do this with uh, one hand. I'm doing this by myself, so bear with me. I uh, guess I'm going to have to put the camera down here for a minute. Get the jar open. So what I've got here is some broccoli seed. I put it in a cup, and then I'm just going to sprinkle it in the trays. So I just kind of put an even coating, kind of cover up the little bars if you can see those in the trays. Slide that over a little more. So I just get a nice even coating throughout the tray here. Now in the past I used to, once I got the seed in the trays, I used to miss the seed. But that's not necessary with the sprouter. So I just put the seed into the sprouter dry and you'll see that in a little bit here. Okay, so I'm done with the broccoli seed. You can see I got a nice even coating of broccoli seed in there and the two paper towels. Take those out. Kept the seed from going at the ends of the sprouters trays. And now I'm going to do alfalfa. Actually, I got a mixture of alfalfa, clover, and radish. And I like the radish because it gives it a nice little spicy tang. Tastes just like fresh radish from the store. So, we'll go ahead and get our paper towels in the next tray here. And go ahead and put the seed in. In the same thing. So I want to get a nice even coat of seed out the tray. Now clover and alfalfa, they kind of look the same, uh, have different nutritional values. Of course, I don't know if you can see it in there. Probably not. The radish seed is a little bit bigger seed, but it's kind of hard to see. I guess I can get up closer. Uh, the bigger seed, kind of a reddish, is a radish seed, and you won't be able to distinguish between the alfalfa or the clover seed because they kind of look the same. The clover is a little bit smaller. So there, I have both of my trays filled up with seed, and they're ready to go into the sprouter. 
I know it's kind of hard to see, but I've got my Easy Green Sprouter in the basement. Uh, in the winter time, it gets a little cold down here, so it takes the sprouts a little longer to grow. But that's okay. Uh, they grow really well down here in the basement. And I've suspended the uh, sprouter from the uh, floor joists in the basement. And so you can kind of see I've got that set up there. And I'm just going to go ahead. I have to stand up on a chair to actually look in the sprouter. There it is. Now what I'm going to do here, is hopefully I can do this with the camera in one hand and grabbing a tray in the other. So I'm going to take, put a tray into the sprouter. So we got one tray, the broccoli and the sprouter. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the alfalfa. Got to be careful not to bump it because the seed is dry and if you bump it it'll go flying all over the place. It's one of the reasons why I used to mist it so now I just try to be more careful. So there's the alfalfa in the sprouter. And I've kind of got them spaced out a little bit. And there's a door that goes on the front. It has holes in it so that when the mister turns on, the oxygen in the mist can come through these holes here. You can see them right here. And so I kind of line the Try to line up the uh, sprout trays with the holes so they get the maximum amount of water and oxygen when they're being misted. And uh, what we'll do now is we'll just get the uh, get the sprouter turned on and it has a nice timer. I've got it set up to turn on every six hours and it goes on for 15 minutes and it misses the sprouts. So let me get down here. I can show you right there is where the water goes right here into that reservoir and then it's got levels. Just put it all the way up to the top there and that lasts me a couple days before I, before I have to fill it up again. And then over here I've got the timer set up and I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in it's all ready to go and then I'm gonna fill up my reservoir with water because it's empty right now so I'll go ahead and do that I got a tube set up put water in See right now the water's starting to go in, starting to fill up. I want to get it too full though, so I'm going to go ahead and shut it off. Maybe just a little more. It's probably pretty good. Okay, so we got the reservoir full of water. Maybe I'll show you the back here. See where the mister is. A little dark, but this is where the mister is. There's a little filter there, and the mister in the water is right in there. So, what we're going to do now is just let it do its thing, and we'll come back tomorrow and see how much the sprouts have grown. All right, so we're back after approximately 24 hours to show you how much the seed has grown. And as you can see, it has started to grow. So right here we have the alfalfa radish clover mix. 
and then over here we have the broccoli so we'll come back tomorrow about the same time and we'll see how far along they are again so here we are on day two and as you can see uh, the sprouts are still going right now I've got the, uh, the sprouter is on you can hear it uh, that's just what it sounds like when it's misting and uh, so there we have the combos the radish alfalfa and clover sprouts again and then over here we have the broccoli and they're kind of neck and neck the broccoli might be growing a little slower because it's a cool weather vegetable and so I don't know if you can see the mist going but it's coming out normally we've got the uh, the door closed uh, that allows the mist to be more directed to the holes so that the uh, trays get uh, more water so anyways we'll come back tomorrow it'll be day three and we'll see how everything is going okay here it is day three and they've really perked up so still growing along uh, looks like we probably got maybe another day or two so we're looking at uh, four to approximately five days and once they're tall enough I'll take them out and green them up so again here's the alfalfa got a shadow from the camera and the broccoli so we'll come back tomorrow same time and see how things are growing out here we are on day four and I could probably harvest the alfalfa clover radish mix because it's uh, pretty well grown up but I think I'm gonna let it go one more day along with the uh, broccoli the broccoli definitely needs one more day I mean I could probably harvest both of them but I think I'm gonna let them go but as you can see the easy green because of the amount of water and oxygen that it supplies to the growing sprouts they do grow up really nice and quick and, and very very healthy so we'll go ahead and let them go one more day I'll pull them out and uh, get some sun on them some light on them green them up a little bit so until tomorrow we'll talk to you then alright well it's early day five and I'm gonna go ahead and pull the alfalfa clover radish mix out and uh, put it in the sun I think the broccoli needs a little bit more time it's pretty close I think I'm gonna let it go till later today or maybe tomorrow morning so anyways this is how the easy green sprouter works it's easy, easy sprouting in a nutshell and no more having to rinse your sprouts or worry about not rinsing them and the crop going bad I've done all of those things so I'm going to go ahead and put the sprouts in the sun and we'll talk to you later. It's now the morning of day six and we're ready to go ahead and green up the broccoli sprouts. They're looking pretty good. And so that concludes uh, growing sprouts with the Easy Green Sprouter. As you can see it's quick, it's easy, it's simple, and these units will actually pay for themselves in savings over buying sprouts from the store by up to 80 percent so since one pound of seed actually yields about 10 pounds of sprouts you figure that out what the price is of sprouts in the store I know I've seen broccoli sprouts going up for up to three dollars for four ounces and a buck and a half for four ounces of alfalfa so it really pays to sprout at home so thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to get your sprouting seeds at organic sprouting seeds .com. thanks again take care bye